Welcome to a quick review from Run the Wild of the La Sportiva shoes that are designed for running in the winter. Let's talk about snow and mud. The first thing to look at is that they all have in common is a gaiter of some sorts, this water repellent gaiter. Why do we need a gaiter? Well, if you're running in these types of shoes, then you're basically gonna have mud and all that kind of stuff popping in here uh, whilst you're running, which is not great. The other thing they all have in common is that they're made of Gore-Tex, and the Gore-Tex means that it keeps your foot nice and dry, and most importantly, warm, because it might still get a little bit wet later on. They're all around about a similar sort of price point, 200 euros, they all have amazing grip. But what are the differences and why should you choose one shoe over another? Well, let's take a look at the Cyclone Cross because that has the biggest differences here to some of these other shoes. The first thing is it has this BOA system here, which provides an evening tightening all over your foot. The second thing as well is it's got a really high water repellent gaiter, perfect for some of those deeper snow areas. And when we look at the other gaiters, you'll see they're a little bit lower down and they have this pocket fixing system here uh, for the laces. To the Cyclone Cross shoe again, you'll notice the grip on the bottom has beautiful angular edges. And that's common across all of these three shoes here. And that means it's really, really good for gripping on slippery, snowy, muddy ground. The thing you'll notice here is that it's got this white cross and that is denoting the type of compound that is used in making the grip. This is one of their stickiest compounds. It also means it's one of their softer compounds, which is not as hard wearing. Whereas the Blizzard and the Uragano have the Blue Cross, which is also grippy, but not as grippy on wet rock, but it is harder wearing. Now, for those that had keen eyes, you might have noticed that on the Blizzards, there are these grip spikes already inserted in the shoe. So this is brilliant for compacted snow, icy snow okay whereas the other ones if you're on hard ice you're still going to slip around and slide around everywhere this will grip really nicely the good news is if you don't want to buy the blizzards you can still buy grip spikes independently because all of these shoes here are actually compatible with inserting those grip spikes and they are then removable afterwards if you want to so what's the best shoe for you well i can't tell you that but i can tell you that there are some differences that i haven't mentioned between these shoes and that is the lug so each lug on these you can see is quite deep and the deepest is on the blizzard now the blizzard obviously has those spikes in there permanently now if we look at the lug pattern here you can see really really deep lugs now that's brilliant that provides some of the best grips that you're going to get from these shoes but if you want to have a good compromise good all-round shoe then the cyclone cross is fantastic because it has that wonderful gaiter has the boa system that provides that even tightening but for me the oregano was what won out because it's a lightweight shoe has a nice deep lug has the flexibility of being able to put in spikes when you need them and take them out the other thing i found well, with the BOA system working on Gore-Tex at the moment, I found I couldn't get the tightening across the shoe as tight as I'd like it. Now that will come in time as the shoe kind of wears in and the fabric becomes a bit more flexible, but I found I could actually get a tighter shoe fit for running downhill on the Uragano. However, the Cyclone Cross could not be beaten on its waterproof gaiter. So it really depends on what you prefer, what you're looking for in a shoe.